Hello and welcome to the Tarot Cottage. I'm so happy to have you here today. My name is Amy. I'm back today with a pick a card reading for you. If you are one of my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you for your friendship. Thank you for being here with me, for supporting me, for supporting each other in the comment section. Thank you for taking this journey with me and for just being a part of my channel. I appreciate you so much. I I am so happy to have you here. And if you are finding yourself on my channel for the very first time, I would like to welcome you with open arms and say, join us. <laughs> it's bliss. <laughs> Um, I do daily pick a card readings here. I do messages for soulmates and separation on Sundays, but mostly we just have a little mixed bag here. We have a lot of fun. So if you are into tarot, into spirituality, please pull up a chair, grab yourself a drink, some snacks, and we'll have a chat because we're all friends at my table. So today's pick a card reading is a love message from your future spouse. Who is your future spouse? What do they want to say to you? What is a love message from them? We have three piles in front of you. We have pile number one with the black obsidian and the tiny purple flowers. We have pile number two with the rose quartz wand here and the, oops, pink, whoops, <laughs> pink flower or red flower, sorry. And pile number three, three with this rainbow fluorite with this green little flower. So whatever pile or piles are calling out to you, um, just know there may be a message waiting there from spirit for you. Um, again, today's topic is a love message from your future partner. What do they have to say to you? What can you expect from this person? What type of person is this if you haven't met them already? Um, I'm going to jump right into pile number one. I will say this right now that in a couple of days, I will be posting a free reading giveaway on my Instagram page. So be sure to hang out over there for a few days and check out um, my posts and enter for your chance to win a free reading with me. I would love to read for you. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into pile number one today. Again, the topic on the agenda is a love message from your future spouse, pile one. Hello, thank you for joining me for pile number one. You were drawn to this purple little flower, uh, oops, or maybe to this black obsidian wand. But either way, this is your reading, a love message from your future spouse. What do they want to say to you? Whoops. <laughs> Out of the bat, we have the Ace of Cups. Ooh. The devil, they could be a Capricorn coming in. I'm going to draw some cards and then we're going to talk about your message. Love message from your future spouse, the Nine of Swords. Clarifying the Ace of Cups. We have the Ace of Coins. We have the Strength card, clarifying that Devil card. Major Arcana here, your future spouse, the Temperance card. And on the back of the deck, we have the Two of Coins. Okay, a love message from your future spouse. Who is this person? And what do they want to say? What can you expect from them? So the two of coins here, it's, it's like someone who can really balance themselves well during highs and lows. The two of coins is a decision-making card. I feel like this person, you've already know them for many of you. Um, as I said, they could be a Capricorn. They could be a Leo. Those are some of the energies I'm seeing here. They could be a fire sign, a water sign. Um, we really have a lot. Uh, we also have Earth represented here as well. So lots of energies represented. Um, this person is going to offer you an emotional new start, I feel. Um, but it's also going to feel like, you know, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Devil, and we have the Nine of Swords. And here we're, we're talking about a love message from your future spouse here. So that Ace of Cups is all about an abundance of overflow. And this person is saying to you, you know, I'm going to fill your cup and I'm going to overflow it. What I'm about to offer you is a very valuable gift. Um, the gift of my love, the gift of happiness in a relationship. Um, it could sometimes feel a, like this person could be a little bit obsessed with you a little bit with the devil. There's that sense of feeling a little bit obsessed with someone, a sense of an addiction. Um, and here we have the nine of swords. Um, some of you maybe have been losing sleep over whether or not you're going to have 
um, love in the future. Maybe you're having some anxiety problems with the Nine of Swords. But this is a call from spirit that this person's going to come in and, and level out those feelings for you. They are going to be kind of like the high to your low. Someone who can really balance out your energies with this Two of Coins and with this Temperance card. It's, you know, somebody who can, you can really draw upon their strength because they are so valuable to you and your life with this beautiful Ace of Coins. That Ace of Coins represents the offer of their love coming in, the offer of this beautiful Ace of Cups, the offer of the beautiful emotion, emotional start that this person's going to bring to your life. Love message from your person. So this person is going to be determined when they come forward for you. Very determined. They're saying, you know, I, I want to charge towards you. I want to offer you this new start. And I, I want to I charge into the future with you. I want to travel with you. The chariot is cancer energy. You know, you can see the cities in the background. This person could be a, a traveler who's traveled a lot. Somebody who's really well-rounded. A boss type of energy. Um, this person is saying, you know, in the past, I know that you felt like you were begging for love. Maybe you were begging for scraps from people and you kind of feel sometimes like you're stuck in a rut and you'll never find love. But this person's here to offer you more. Love letter from your future spouse. You know, the spirit sees you focusing on the pain of the past. And this person coming in is going to be an opportunity for you to heal your heart, for you to level out these energies inside of you, for you to feel happy once again. You've been showing the world, you know, how maybe sad you've been, how um, you've been waiting for maybe this opportunity and love to come forward. You want your future spouse to show up, um, but you're focusing too much on past hurts. You're focusing too much on the past. It's time for you to turn around and focus on what you have to offer the, the world. This person coming in could be someone from your past. The Six of Cups is a soulmate card. It's a nostalgic card. It's a card about somebody from your past returning. Somebody who wears rose-colored glasses and has a lot of love for you. Um, so this person wants to come back. Uh, this could be an ex for some of you as well. The person that you will end up marrying could be an ex or somebody, again, that you grew up with that holds a lot of of sorrow in their heart for what happened between you or the inaction that happened between you this person wants to come back into your life and offer you happiness and abundance that four of wands is a soulmate card as well it's about celebration homecoming returning of this, this beautiful love energy from the past it's twin flame type of energy 11 11 very beautiful beautiful card A message from your person, from your future spouse. This is going to be an opportunity for us to start over, is what your future spouse is saying. We're going to charge into the future together and we're going to shake everything up. We're going to have this emotional new start. We will no longer feel the pain of the past. We will no longer feel like we're not good enough. Sorry about the wobble. Um, Yeah, there's hope returning, the star, beautiful star energy. This is about a beautiful blessing coming into your life. You have felt trapped. You have felt held back before in the past when it comes to love. But this star energy, the judgment card, you have temperance, <laughs> the chariot. So many major arcana are floating around your pile today, which means this is a very significant connection. This future spouse of yours, is it's meant to be. It's faded. They want to pour all of their love into you and treat you like the queen or the king that you deserve to be treated. Leo energy, um, Sagittarius as well with this beautiful queen of wands. Um, and you know what? You can see this by this black cat in front of her that you, she has a fiery temper. And I feel like maybe you do have a fiery temper and you don't want to, you get angry quickly, but you, you know, you also kind of forgive easily. I'm that way. You know, this card is really a representation of me. I get fired up very fast and easily, but I am also very fast to forgive. Um, this person's coming in to heal your heart, heal the past hurts. They're coming in to, like, you're feeling defensive about love. You're feeling defensive about wanting, I feel like you're almost too scared to feel optimistic about the future. And this person is going to heal those energies. They're going to come back from the past and show you what love truly is. It's about surrendering to this connection, to the divine. 
some more cards here for you. This future spouse, message from your future spouse. What would this connection bring to the table? We have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. And we have that devil card. So this person wants to bring in a lot of sexual energy as well. They want you to know that this is going to be the type of relationship that is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Separation, sadness, someone is missing you. And as I said, this person coming into your life, this future spouse, could be someone from your past that you grew up with. Um, someone that wants to return, that looks at you with rose-colored glasses. Have I like you. It's such a beautiful, simple message. Um, someone likes you fun flirting, want to date. And I often see this card when there's been a lot of flirtation floating around and it's never moved to another level. It's a very innocent type of love. Again, next to the six of cups, it just feels like a beautiful, loving energy. Karmic relationship, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go. And all of those things in the past, all of those relationships in the past were karmic relationships that were preparing you for this one, that were preparing you for this soulmate connection, um, this connection where you, you know, have marriage in the future. We have to go through those pains so we can learn how we do not want to be treated, so that we can learn what it is that we do want out of life. Rust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. You've had pain in the past. You're feeling a little bit low. Um, maybe you're feeling a little bit like you can see the expression on this person's face. They look a little bit um, untrusting, <laughs> kind of standoffish. Whoops. But this is an attraction that cannot be denied once this person comes into your life. You won't be able to deny that attraction. And the passion will be what kind of helps you to forget some of this pain, helps you to forget some of these feelings. We have true love on the back of the deck. This is the romance of a lifetime, and it should not be overlooked. Advice from Spirit for this connection. You have abracadabra. Um, it's very important to remember that you literally create your destiny. Look at her, her, this beautiful city that has sort of just, you know, popped up out of nowhere from her dreams. She's got her hands in the, her head in the clouds. Her fingertips can touch the stars because she is a manifester. She is someone who is magic and you are magic and this connection will be magic. You can create the life that you want by focusing on abundance. The Butterfly Garden. This is a beautiful card that reminds us to take time to enjoy the present moment and to stay in the present. I feel like a lot of you watching could be f focused on the past pain, past hurt in your life. And this card is a really good reminder for us to stop and smell the roses. You can see she has this beautiful butterfly of transformation because this connection from the past is going to be transformed into this beautiful soulmate connection, this beautiful um, future spousal relationship <laughs> between the two of you. Um, so that is a beautiful message of transformation but you can see she sort of stopped she put the flower there she's in, not in motion anymore because she's allowing this beautiful moment to happen she's allowing the peace of this moment to fill her heart she's peaceful she's joyful and she's letting this creature just be and that's what spirit wants for you for this connection they want you to take time to truly enjoy this time enjoy this moment of flirtation enjoy this moment of coming together because it's your moment and they don't want you to miss out on that joy and the peace that comes with it. Can you hear me? You've been lonely. You've been calling out. All of your feelings are hidden in the, in the, under the depth. And you have your little, you know, your horn. You can call it any time. You've been feeling lonely. You've been focusing maybe on the pain of the past. It's time to call out. It's time to call out to the universe about what you want. You know, your soulmate is out there waiting for you. Your future spouse is out there waiting for you. And it's about transformation, back of the deck. This is going to trans, this connection is going to transform you. Um, you're going to learn so much from it. 
Um, and it's also be a, going to transform your entire life because of this or, and it's going to be a transformation for this connection as well, because I do feel like this was a flirtation type of friendship that happened in the past that is now going to turn into something beautiful, um, something amazing. If this person could say anything to you, what would it be? What would it be if they could say anything to you right this moment? A message from your future spouse, what would they say to you? I'm coming. I am coming. And we also have, I miss you regardless of how things look on the outside. So that's interesting because I do feel like it's somebody from your past for some of you. Always take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Message from your future spouse. I'm ready to act. I'm ready to come forward and reveal myself because no one knows that I'm still thinking about you. Whoops. I fantasize about you. I lost one on the floor, so let's see what that one is. I'm sorry about the wobble. Sorry, you guys. I sometimes worry that this is all in my head. What other messages from your future spouse? We compliment each other. This person is going to be the yin to your yang. I need to feel your touch. And I don't want you to worry because I will find you. I would find you in every single lifetime. I will find you in this one. We have, I miss your laugh. That's sweet. Again, it feels very young, innocent, nostalgic type of love coming in. It feels beautiful. We are meant to be. We're meant to be. I'm tired of waiting. Okay, let's get some charms for you and this future spouse. Oh, the hermit. So that hermit card, Virgo. And the, so they could be a Virgo. Someone has been holding that flame for you for a while and they've been fantasizing about you with that seven of cups. They could also see you as someone who's had a lot of options in the past as well. We have I will and I can. We have lots of starfishes in the bowl. In fact, I'm going to go through my charms and take some of these starfish out. But it's about healing. This connection is really going to heal you. Look at all of these. Six starfishes, the six of cups, balance, water energy. They could be a Pisces or a Cancer or a, you know, Scorpio. But we have lots of starfishes, the ability to heal yourself. And that's what this connection is truly going to bring. It's going to bring healing to your heart. It's going to bring, you know, healing to your soul. We have Aries represented in the bowl. Here is a commandment from the Bible. It says, honor thy father and thy mother. So there could have been cultural aspects in the past of this connection that sort of muddied up the mix. Um, but this person's ready to move past that and, and push forward. They want to express their love. We have the whale spirit here. It's about expression. It's about, you know, expelling the, all of that emotion that they've been sinking to the depths and sitting on and sitting on. It's about expressing that now. It says she believes she could, so she did. I will, I can. This person's coming forward. They will have you, <laughs> they say. And it's about building up this foundation of love that you deserve. You have made with love. This whole, this relationship will be based on love, on mutual respect. It will be something that you can breathe a sigh of relief with. Okay, thank you for joining me, Group 1. I believe that is your reading. Um, this is a message, love message from your future partner, your future spouse. What are they, you know, what do they have to say about you? Or how is this connection going to play out? This is a beautiful connection. So many major arcana here. Um, feels like a soulmate connection, twin flame type of relationship, someone from your past. So I would not be surprised if they reached out or have already reached out to you because they do have these sitting in the past position. So I feel like you've already met this person. Maybe you're a little bit, I have a little bit of trepidation about moving forward, but there's no need to. This is a romance of a lifetime. 
if this resonated with you, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to join us and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell or even liking this video really helps me out. But either way, I just hope that you come back for another visit at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye guys. Hello and welcome. Thank you for choosing group number two, this little red flower and this rose quartz wand. This is your message from your future spouse. What will this connection bring to your life? What does this person have to say to you? We have the death card. We're starting out your pile and not to fear because that is not necessarily a bad card. The world. Hmm. Major Arcana, the Four of Cups, <clears throat> love message from your future spouse. Clarifying that death card, we have the Page of Wands. Clarifying the World card, we have <clears throat> the Three of Cups. Clarifying the Four of Cups, we have Judgment. Oh my goodness, so many strong energies and the Star. Okay, so love message from your future spouse. So if we start on the back of the deck, the star, your future spouse is saying, you know what? <clears throat> Don't give up hope. <laughs> Don't give up hope that I'm not coming because I'm coming. There needs to be a shift in energy, but I'm coming. Uh, I feel like maybe this person could be someone that you already know. Um, I feel like you've already met them for some of you um, because the surface, you know, the emotions lying under the surface. Emotions have been hidden, and I do see that Four of Cups. Um, somebody's kind of focused on the past a little bit, feeling a little bit downtrodden, kind of waiting for that shift in energy, but that shift is coming, and it's coming in the form of this beautiful death card. You can see her heavily pregnant, so this person could be bringing in an abundance of, of um, fertility for you. <laughs> could mean that you have a future with children with this person, um, but they're going to bring in fire, and they're going to bring in a new beginning because that's what death is about it's about ushering out the old to usher in the new you know this person is pregnant here in this card her old life is gone she has a brand new life laying out in front of her it's about transcendence it's about moving forward and for some of you i feel like this person could be someone in your friend group currently because of this three of cups it's about socialization it's about friendship um, but this person that wants to kind of move things along with you is trying to tell you, you know, I want a transformation with you and I want to explore some of these sexual feelings I'm feeling. I'm feeling so much passion towards you with this page of wands and I have all these ideas swirling around in my head and we're hanging out all the time and I just, I, I want to move this because I feel like you and I, it's not just about physical, but I feel that and I want to explore that with you. Um, we have the world card here right in the smack center of your reading, which is about success and closure and happiness. You could travel with your future spouse. They want to shake things up with you. They want to shift the energy between you to gain that closure, to reveal their true feelings. Because I feel like they've been hiding these feelings for you, sinking them to the depths for a while. And they're waiting. They're like, I want a new beginning with you. I don't want to be friend zoned if that's the case of <laughs> what's happening here. I want you to see me as a potential partner because I feel like we can start over together and have a beautiful life together with this judgment card about resurrection. It's kind of like that death card energy. It's about resurrection. It's about happiness. In the past, I've just felt like I'm begging for attention from you and I just feel so lost without you and I just really want to tell you how I'm feeling but I always feel like I'm lagging behind and I'm fearful that I don't have enough right now to offer you. I feel like this page of wands, I don't have a lot of confidence but again, it's more of like that begging feeling. I want to level things out. I want to be able to be generous with you um, and I want all your attention is what they're saying. I want all of your attention. I just saw the Knight of Pentacles as well. <laughs> queen of Cups. I just, this person's going to treat you like a queen. They are going to fill you with so much love. They have so much love to offer you. They want to tell you that they want to put you on that pedestal. They want to reveal the truth. And all of the love that they have for you can never go anywhere, has never been able to go anywhere because the lid is on it. You can see her cup has a lid on it. That love cannot fall out, can't. It can't leave. It's not going anywhere. And again, I feel like they've been feeling this way for you for a while with that four of cups. This, you know, feeling hung up. We have the hanged man on the back of the deck. Feeling hung up. 
feeling like they need to surrender to this connection and wanting you to surrender it as well. But they feel ready to act because you are the queen of wands. And they regret not telling you because it's been a secret. <laughs> but ultimately what this person can offer you, ten of cups or ten of pentacles and success. They just keep coming, but you have to free yourself from those limited self-beliefs. Open up your eyes, take the masks off, turn around and take a look at this person as an option. Maybe you haven't seen them as an option. Maybe you need to take a look back or take a stand back so you can see the full picture that you can, that this person is totally for you and can make you so happy and bring you security and abundance and not just financially, but also emotional abundance. It's about shifting, though, this connection and moving it to a beautiful place. Angel messages, some advice from your angels. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. That's what this person wants with you. And we're talking about your future spouse. You deserve love. You're lovable and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If you feel the same way about this person, go ahead and, and start this process. You know, don't wait around too long. This person wants to come forward and I feel like they will come forward to you. Um, but you don't have to wait long. Cupid's arrow is kind of shooting you right now. <laughs> Let's get this, this party started. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So you could have children perhaps, or maybe you've just known this person since you were a child. We have make the effort and there's children depicted in this card as well on the back of the deck. It says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I feel like this person has been holding these feelings for you for a very long while. I feel like they're smitten. You can just see her expression. She looks so smug <laughs> and this little boy is just smitten with her. And I feel like that's how this person feels about you. They're so smitten. They have so much passion for you, love for you. Talking, interested, conversing more. Text, call, hovering. So you're going to start hearing more from this person. They're going to start calling you all the time. Separation. Maybe you've been separated, sadness missing you because of COVID or because of whatever situation. Um, you've grown a bit apart, but that's going to stop. That's going to stop. The separation is going to end because this person is going to reach out to you via text message or call. Self-indulgence. Self -indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work. This person has a little bit of growing up to do and some self-healing before they come forward, but I feel like almost that process for them is almost over. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. And that's really what has stopped your person from coming forward or revealing their true feelings for you in the past and feeling those feelings of apathy was because they, they, feel Ill, they have felt ill-equipped in the past to you know, express themselves to you. Like this page of wands doesn't have tons of confidence um, when it comes to expressing themselves and they don't have the confidence of the knight or the confidence and security of the king. So I feel like this person just goes over and over in their mind, you know, some of the things they said, did. But we do have this soulmate card here. Soul connection, partnership, soul contract, and passion. Insane chemistry between you and this person once you give them a shot. We have the journey. So I feel like you've been, you know, there's a, a similar card to this um, card in this deck where it shows this character older and, and riding on this little deer and the deer is older as well. So it's about taking the journey together. It's about starting where you are. Um, again, I feel like this is someone from your friend group. I feel like you have been friends with them from the time you were very young. It's someone you've known for a while. And it's about taking that journey together. And also, you know, 19, 1 and 9 together make 10. It's about completion. It's about closure. It's about success. The moon and back. This person has been pining for you for a while. Look at that expression. Sitting on that moon, hiding those feelings. You know, holding on to hope. I love you to the moon and back. 
all is connected. There is a deep connection here. That spider imagery is a reminder that you weave your own destiny um, and changes in the air. You see the fall leaves flowing and she's holding on to it. She's allowing change to happen and that's what spirit's guiding you to do. Allowing this to happen, allowing this, this situation to evolve to where it's supposed to be because you can see the roots, you know, digging into the ground there. This is going to be a secure connection for you. Change of seasons on the back of the deck. Changes in the air. This connection is not no longer going to stay where it was in the past. It is going to shift into a brand new energy. And we, you know, that's not surprising to us or shouldn't be because we had the death card. We had the, you know, judgment card. We had like every card to indicate that this is on its way up. Where's my, oh, sitting right in front of me. What does this person want to say to you? What is their love message? I knew the first moment I saw you that this was something that was important to me, but I, I don't know how to tell you the truth because it's overwhelming to me. And I feel, again, I don't feel like I have everything in my wheelhouse. <laughs> I want a new beginning with you. I want a new beginning and I want to see you again. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm coming forward because I, do, I, I can't do this any longer. I'm putting on a show for everybody in my life right now. That one's blank. I think about you more than I should. It infiltrates my, my whole existence. And I felt, I've never felt this way. And I've been feeling like this for a really long time. But I know that timing has never been our strong suit. I am in love with you. And even though we never said it to each other back in the day, I feel like we both knew that there was something special about this connection. But there are times when I do feel really inferior to you. I see you as that queen, but I see myself as this page. I have to keep my urges hidden right now from everybody, including you. There's some charms for you. What do we have in the bowl today? We have the hermit. We had that in the last bowl and the page of wands. We started out your reading with that page of wands here. Um, this person has been holding these, this flame for you for a while. Virgo energy really represented by the hermit. And we have fire energy represented by that page. So Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Again, they don't have to be, but I like to mention it for people who are interested. Um, they've been p passionately watching you and holding up that flame for you for a long time it makes them feel kind of lonely but they want to explore and i feel like that page is just impetuous enough just impatient enough to make that move f q z or n an airplane perhaps this person lives so far from you that you would have to travel by air now to see them we have two acorns and you know, that's really a soulmate energy type of energy for me with the two acorns and it's about potential. It's about planting the seeds and giving it the right conditions and letting your roots spread and grow. It's like this feeling in this card with those roots spreading into the ground. It's about the potential, but you have to give it the right conditions. We have um, whale energy here, Pisces, expression of all of that emotion that has been, you know, kind of stuck in the depths. The two connected hearts, soulmates, connected by an invisible force. Ooh. The a hot air balloon. Let's move this connection. Let's travel together. Let's, let's shift this energy. Let's explore the world and each other at the same time is what I feel like your person is getting at. We have the cat. Or no, we don't. We have the siren, the mermaid. So they see you as the seductress, somebody who is like who has everything that, that they need to kind of please them. We have, she believes she did, so she could. We have this penny. Penny is from 2008. And the pennies are really a symbol of communication, of a valuable offer coming in. So I do feel like this person is coming forward with that offer. We have the little curled shell, which again, 
hiding these feelings for you, keeping them secret. But we have the little four leaf clover as well. So I feel like they are going to come forward and just really hope for the best. But this is, you know, this is your future spouse. This person, you know, is going to bring so much adventure into your life. Okay, group number two. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If this resonated with you, if you know who this person is, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. Maybe you've already um, connected with them again. Maybe they've already reached out. So I'd love to hear about that. Um, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and be a part of my community. Um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any opportunities to win a free reading or an, any topics you might be interested in. Head on over to Instagram in the next couple of days to enter for your chance to win a free mini reading with me because I'll be posting that in a couple of days. But other than that, I just really hope that you join me for another day here at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye, you guys. Hello. Thank you for joining me for group number three. You were drawn to this little green flower, or maybe to this um, fluorite wand. <clears throat> Rainbow fluorite, I believe it is. If I'm wrong, please tell me in the comment section. <laughs> I'm all about education, and this is a your message from your future spouse. What do they have to say to you? What are they going to bring to the table? Who is this person? We're starting out here with the three of swords. Air represented, air energy. The nine of cups. The two of swords. Love message from your future spouse. Three of swords. We have the King of Swords. The Eight of Swords. So this person could definitely be an air sign. Four of Cups. And on the back we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this person, this future spouse of yours, who is this person and what do they want to say to you? So they're going to, you know, they're going to come in with a valuable offer for you with that Ace of Pentacles. That Ace of Pentacles is about new opportunities. And that is what this connection is going to bring you, a new opportunity for happiness. Because I do feel like there is some pain in the past. Um, we have this Three of Swords we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Two of Swords and it's being clarified by the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups. So I see that there has been pain in the past, maybe between you and this person. Maybe there is a little bit of sadness, a little bit of heartbreak. And I feel like maybe you both are wearing masks right now, maybe kind of denying the connection a little bit. But the truth is, is that you both know that you belong together. And that is a decision, like you both have a decision to make to move forward into a new opportunity, into a new beginning here, to kind of let the pain of the past fall aside and allow happiness to come in, allow a new beginning. Um, the King of Swords there is a call for logic. It's a call for truth. It's a call to look at things unemotionally. The Eight of Swords is about releasing yourself from the masks releasing yourself from anything you feel is holding yourself back from this connection or from your happiness truly because you know she's mourning here but if she just turned around she would see that suitor standing there she's mourning and mourning and mourning and so her eyes are closed but if she turned around she's got that king behind her waiting to to you know heal her heart and that's what you guys need to do release those masks and be truthful with this person I feel like you already know this person and you're already in contact with them for many of you, again, take what resonates and leave what does not in my readings. Um, but we have the four of cups here, which shows like apathy from the past, you know, again, wearing those masks, not revealing the truth here, not revealing the truth. Some clarifying cards. Love message from your future spouse. What do they want to say? Please spirit. Queen of pentacles. The truth is, is that they see you as a queen. I see you as my queen. I want to make things secure for you. And I feel like we belong together. It just feels right. That justice card is about balance, about feeling um, whole and connected. It's also a sense of responsibility. I've grown so much clarity over how much I miss you and love you and need you in my life. You are the dream come true that I want. That nine of cups is about dreams fulfilled, about wishes granted, but they're wearing masks. You can tell they're afraid to reveal their truth. They're afraid to reveal their truth. 
I want to communicate with you if we are in no contact right now. I want to tell you that I want to offer you everything. I want to, I think that we can have it all together. Because you truly are, you are my dream come true. I hold you on this pedestal. You are like this beautiful nine of wands. You represent such beauty and stability to me. The five of swords. Whoops. I need to put that down here. So with that, I'm going to gain a little bit of clarity on that five of swords. Let me get a clarifying card for that. It's the ace of pentacles. I've, I've kind of, I've hesitated to come forward towards you in the past because I'm worried that you're not going to accept my offer. You're going to walk away, but I'm coming forward anyway. I have to shoot my shot. I have to offer you this new beginning. And that's what I really want with you is this new beginning because you are the sun and I just want to see you happy. I want to see you happy and thriving. I want to be one of the reasons why. I know that we fought in the past, maybe. I know that we've had obstacles. Maybe you felt like there's been competition for my affections, but I want to push through those, comp those feelings. I want victory with you and nobody else because you are my queen and I'm here to heal your heart. We need to expand this connection. You're the queen of wands. I'm here to heal your heart. All the pain in the past, you know, I want to apologize for anything that I did to cause any of your hurt. And I want to expand this connection with you. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. And that magician is all about that manifestation. And this person is doing that right now. They're manifesting a new future with you. And and it's a call for spirit for you to focus on that abundance. Focus on gratitude. Kisses, unconditional loving, giving, a, a receiving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Love. Unconditional self-love, oneness, and seduction. Lots of wands floating around your pile. Lots of heat here. Heart with a key is on the back of the deck. Welcoming love, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together. Perfection. Maybe the pain of the past has kind of made you a bit jaded and feel cold towards new love offers coming in. Maybe you feel like you don't even want a new love offer <laughs> to come in right now, but this person's going to come in and help you heal some of those feelings. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Do you spend time, you know, it's about addressing any addictions in your life that are no longer serving you. It's about keeping yourself in a positive mindset with that magician card. She doesn't look very happy here. She's kind of focused on the past, kind of like that sense of the four of cups here of wishing you had kind of made different choices. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like some of you feel like love has evaded you for a really long time and you're, you're sad about that. It, it kind of breaks your heart, but you're trying to, you're trying to put on a brave face with that king of swords there. You're trying to, to kind of look at it logically. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It's time for you to travel with this person. It's time for you to focus on yourself and this connection, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. Very soon is at the back of the deck, but you have to clearly decide what you want so that the universe can bring that to you. Sorry if you guys hear grumbling. I think it's just my stomach. House of flowers. Look at the, you know, look at the abundance in this house. The beautiful blooming of abundance in this house. Those flowers are so well cared for that they're just blooming in abundance. Bloom, And that's what this connection will bring for you. This beautiful connection that's coming forward. That card though is also a, a card about loving life in this moment. 
and focusing on the present. And doing that is a great way to manifest your future, especially if you're focusing on abundance. We have the sea witch here. <laughs> Children could be in your future with this person, but it's about, you know, you can see her holding on to this little propeller and she's being propelled through the water um, towards whatever she wants. And it's about propelling you towards this connection with this person, I feel. Um, this, <laughs> it says, she's called the witch of the sea. Um, she has a jellyfish on the lower part of her body. Um, it's like looking at the world with childlike innocence and marveling at, at everything you see instead of focusing on the past and the pain of a moment. It's about being, have childlike wonder with, with this new beginning with this person, having a new, a new outlook on life. Go back to who you were when you were a little child and everything was amazing and everything was impressive. And, and that's how you should kind of look at life in this moment to keep yourself in that positive mindset. Because I do feel there was sadness here um, because new directions, you know, it's taking those opportunities. You can see this person grabbed onto one of these dandelion wishes and just ran with it. And I feel like that's what needs to be done here. Um, don't let opportunities pass you by. Don't let this opportunity come and go and pass you by because you're so sad. Allow people to help you as well. We have the night ride. You can see here on the back of the deck, you know, it's about this elephant being a very protective and helpful force to this mother and her child. This person's going to come in and be a protector for you. This person's going to come in and help you weather the storms. And maybe you feel like in life you've been alone for a lot of the things you've had to suffer through alone. And this person's going to be a support system, make you feel like you're not alone to push you through those dark times. And what does this person want to say to you? What is their love message for you? Whoops. Oh, God. Hold on, guys. Sorry, I picked them up. <laughs> love message from your future spouse. You are a goddess. I'm sick of no contact with you. So that might be a special message for some of you who are in no contact with this person. You are my soulmate. You take my breath away. I'm watching you. If you're in no contact with this person, I'm watching you um, from the outside. I also just saw I'm letting go of the past, but it did not fall out. It's always been you. We also have on the back of the deck past life connection. So you may have spent many lifetimes with this person already. If you only knew how much I treasured our time together. Oh. And I'm trying to conjure you up right, right now. <laughs> Whoops. To be with you is all that I want in life. That's such a beautiful message. I love your voice. I have been watching and I'm coming forward. And I've been working on myself. I want you to know that I want myself to be at the very best I can be. And I have been hiding these feelings for you from everyone in my life. And I'm dreaming of, of the time that I can be with you. I dream of you all the time. Some charms for you in this connection. Shake them up. All right, what do we have today? We have the Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. And you know what, it's interesting because didn't you start out over here with the Two of Swords? You did. So we have the Two of Swords here. So decisions to be made, taking those masks off and seeing this connection for the potential that it has, pushing through the obstacles in the way. Because I feel like there is heartbreak here, there is sadness and maybe an apology needs to come forth. But it's about pushing through those obstacles um, to be where your heart really wants to be. Lots of passion represented, J and T, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> uh, we have the um, heart, 
we have the marijuana and we have the Chewbacca here, which is about, you know, I always see it as like someone who has a specific nerdy interest or defined interest. So this person coming forward that you're going to be spending your life with um, could have a really defined narrow interest like Star Wars, cosplay, you know, League of Legends, some sort of narrowed interest. We have Gemini represented in the bowl today. It says intelligent, an intelligent Gemini could be in your future or that could be you. We have the red pepper. Somebody wants to evolve this connection to the next stage and explore those feelings with you, those, those sexual feelings. What's this one? We have a little squirrel on a tree limb here. Maybe this person kind of is nervous or you're the nervous one. Squirrels always make me think of really nervous energy, but sometimes that nervous energy is very productive. So I don't know if this person's just the type of really, you know, has lots of energy, always working, always needs to be doing something. Um, because you think about these squirrels, it's sitting on a tree limb. Squirrels are really responsible for, responsible for planting most of the trees <laughs> that we have they bury their seeds and then they forget where they are and then a tree sprouts so it's about you know nurturing the seed of this love together we have the key this person is the key to your happiness the key to your heart we have the fishtail here so pisces energy really represented okay group three thank you for joining me today this is your love message from your future spouse if this resonated with you I'd love to hear about it in the comment section if you already know this person or if you've already met them. Um, I'd love to hear about it. I'm very nosy. Um, but either way, I just wish that you would join me again here at the Tarot Cottage. Subscribe to my channel. Be my friend. Uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos I post. But either way, I just hope that you have a great day today and that you come back and visit me another time. Bye, guys.